weigh in is our political panel, uh, GOP strategist Eric Beach. Uh, and of course, uh, Heat Street political editor Jillian Melcher. And Democratic strategist Evangeline Gomez. First with you, uh, Eric. Why do you think that uh, they're having this much trouble on the left? This never was supposed to be this way. Yeah, well, who would have thought that at this point in time that it would be the Democrats that were fractured going into their own convention? And if you think about it, had Hillary had to run against uh, 16 other candidates like Donald Trump did, I think she'd be in a whole, heap, whole world of trouble. And right now she has a one-on-one -on -one battle and she's barely surviving. Uh, Jillian, we see that if it's an open primary, we see the fact that uh, Hillary Clinton uh, it does, struggles because she she's not getting the independent vote. Is that just because of Bernie Sanders or is it because of a bigger issue? Well, I think it's too premature to say that she's not going to get the independent vo vote. I think she very well will get the independent vote. If Where? It's, if if it's a matchup between her and Trump, I think independence. Well, I'm talking are about right now her. in the primary. Uh, right now, California. We still have California. We have New Mexico. We have New Jersey. These are states with high minority populations that are going to turn out for Hillary, and I think that's where Sanders has his his weakness. But on the independence. Where yeah. do you see it, Evangeline? You know, I, I'm Jillian, but Jillian, I can see it going either oh. way. Um, I think what Bernie Sanders has going for him is charisma. Hillary Clinton doesn't inspire passion. Um, Bernie Sanders does, and this is the same problem. I think it's a repeat of 2008 where she's coming up against the charismatic, uh, trendy, exciting candidate, and she's having a really hard time. She's pitching competence, and that's not really a sexy message. And, you know, we did notice last time when, when Barack Obama brought it to the end, they said, well, the, the Democrats are going to be a mess because they're all divided and it ended up being an advantage because people stayed excited and I think you will see the same thing happen around. I tend to disagree I think that Hillary does have a very charismatic message and I do think that she has competence and she has experience and people are very right. excited about electing a first female president well a lot of people said Bill Clinton is the backbone for Hillary, for Hillary Clinton but it could she could he actually be a lead weight especially when he talks about 1990s what he was doing in 1996 and what where we are now in 2016 let's listen to the 1996 version of a Democrat talking about illegal immigration this administration has taken a strong stand to stiffen the protection of our borders. We will build a wall. It will do what it's supposed to do. Keep illegal immigrants out. And tonight I announce I will sign an executive order to deny federal contracts to businesses that hire illegal immigrants. What are we going to do about illegal hiring? You can be very, very strong. It could be a huge financial penalty. Eric, it sounds so familiar that the Trump message and the Bill Clinton message, who's the lead surrogate for the 2016 Democratic frontrunner. That's absolutely right. I mean, even think about going into his campaign, Bill Clinton, I feel your pain. Donald Trump, make America great again. And these themes of the entire campaign really resonate with the American people. It's a positive message, and it's a message that has both Democrat and independent appeal. Jillian, is that a problem? You know, I, I always love hearing the Clinton's selective passion for the law. Uh, that's kind of an interesting thing. But I think, you know, this harsh protectionist stance on immigration has long been a Democratic Party stance. I'm a conservative. I believe in a free market for labor. Um, I think immigration laws should be enforced. But at the same time, I want people who want to come here and work to have the opportunity to work. And I don't think right. Trump speaks for the entire country. Benjamin? I don't think the messages are similar at all. And I'm going to tell you why. I think Real quick. Trump's... Uh, policy has been one of being anti-Latino, not one but of just those comments reform. are exactly the same. They That's where the country exactly was. The same. I would disagree. I disagree, really? Brian. Yes, I do. Okay, I'm, I was reading the closed <laughs> caption of what they were saying. Sorry. Uh, to the middle class workers. All right, we'll see what happens. It just shows how much the country's changed too. Come